Yo guys, welcome back to the PDC Joe Chilling Rain video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at the Alola Ninetales tool deck. Probably one last time here before it rotates. So this deck has always been really fun because of Rubbish Blizzard doing 10 damage for zero energy. And it allows you to do 10 damage for each tool in your discard pile. And of course, we are going to play a jillion tool cards. And the cool thing actually is we got a lot of new tool cards recently some of the big ones are going to be the gloves crushing gloves and justified gloves will help us quite a bit against eternatus v max and even zacian sometimes so the big one could be eternatus v max or dark decks in general like moltres doing that 30 extra damage can be very good and that is what we're gonna be trying to work articuno was a really cool upgrade to the deck too articuno v allows you to discard two cards from your hand so you can play this ability to get rid of extra tools um it's pretty much the deck idea. It's a lot of fun to play this deck. It might not be the most competitive decks on planet because honestly, 10 damage is very, very weak. Like if it was 20 damage, it would be insanely good. But if it was, the fact there's 10 damage makes it kind of awkward, <laughs> but we'll see how we do. And if maybe we can run to ADP, we are a fairy deck at the end of the day. Uh, one of the last fairy decks actually playable in standard before fairy leaves in like literally like a month. So before we get in the video, of course, our two card cabin, the sponsor on the channel. If you guys are ever looking for any PDC gel package, get them over at card cabin. Card cabin sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys want to pick up any set codes like chilling rain, battle styles, shining fate, sword shield base set, rebel clash, or if you're looking for any specific GX or V or V max, promo code card or if you're looking for any sleeve or etb codes pre-release kit codes get them all over at car cabin you get codes over at car cabin at the checkout use my discount code code ldf for a five percent discount on your purchase help the channel help yourself out and up our car cabin so check out car cabin check them out use code ldf for getting codes also check out the video articles i've been posting be appreciated so take a look at the list so yes my nine tails list that i've built here um now this card can be hard to build mainly because there is a big issue with it is that you do need to play a lot of tools you know you can't just play five tools and call it a day you, you know you can't play like 12. you have to play honestly you have to play like 20 plus tools for this card to even knock out big pokemon like the dene um which we do play a lot of tools as you can see we play a lot of them we got a lot i mean i could count them I'm not sure i i'm up for that but there's a lot there is definitely there's at least like 20 i think there's like 22 or 23 in the deck um, and if you want to play more tools, you can. I don't know why you would cut, though, because you have to play a 4-4. You have to play 8, you know, this. You got Marshadow, Articuno, Dedene, you know, Wonders Lab. Like, there's a lot of stuff you have to play in the deck um, to make it work. So there's not enough room for, like, any more tools. Leon's kind of cool, though. You play a Leon with your Ninetales. It kind of counts as having three more tools in the discard pile for that turn. So Leon is really cool in the deck, too. So I've snuck that in here to do that extra damage. Level Ball is pretty good in the deck, too. Allowing you to get Vulpix a lot easier. Um, then, of course, Marshadow um marshadow can be used with recent hole you can put a tool on it and discard it or you can also use it to get rid of path of peaks so you can use dedenne or Takuno. um i am playing one wonders labyrinth you can all you can cut this if you want however if your opponent doesn't find a stadium it can come in a, it can really come in clutch um but it is a cuttable card you can cut this for like another tool card to be honest we got two boss a giovanni's exile to get rid of dedenne or Takuno. we got three hapus more tool discards for research one leon and uh, just a bunch of tools now again i've prioritize very heavily on the justified gloves giant bomb's really cool you can attach it nine tails takes more than 180 damage then they take 10 damage so giant bomb can be really awkward for the opponent but also it discards itself at the end of the turn so it's like a free attachment get rid of card uh, lucky egg you know could be helpful if you need to draw cards tool jammer is kind of useful too against big charm and then vitality man you know, 10 damage sure and then I mean, that's just it for the tool. Then for Air Balloon, obviously, if you need to play it under Kuno or Dedene. However, I'm still playing one energy in the deck just to have that free retreat cost on, like, Mew or Dedene or something. You can't use it without a Kuno, but it could still come in handy. This could also get swapped for a Recycle or a Capture Energy Sword, or you can just cut this all together and just play another tool card. No cap. Anyways, let's go try the deck out and uh, hopefully win a game with the deck. We'll see how it goes. All right, into the first match with Nine Tails. I think we're playing against ADP, which, I mean... We are a fairy deck, but unfortunately doing 10 damage isn't going to cut it sometimes versus ADP. But we'll see. We didn't really get that great of a starting hand either, to be honest, but we'll see what we can cook up here. Articuno can draw us a card at least. Yeah, we could just do reconstitute. I actually do like crushing gloves in this matchup, obviously. That's why I do play it for the Zacian. Uh, ooh, tool jammer. We could put that on Zacian here and block him from retreating. Um... But I'm not sure I like that. I think I'd rather just wait a turn. And then we can do reconstitute next turn. They might boss us. I don't know. We'll see. We could put it on. Because then the Zacian just has to play a normal switch to retreat. It could be useful. But I think we'd rather just put as many tools in the discard as we can. Because eventually they'll have to use ADP. Unless they're playing Mew to Mew. They'll eventually have to put an ADP in the active. Which means they will have to take a hit from Ninetales. We just gotta wait for that day to come. 
We still need a supporter, though. We'll see. I'm not really... I don't know if I'm going to get rid of the air balloon, though, to be honest. Articuno does have a target on its head. Um, there's the ADP. Yeah. This also might just be a game where my opponent just goes boss boss, unfortunately. Uh, they probably have Denny in their hand. They could Marnie me, maybe. If they ever play supporter, it could be a Marnie, which I guess wouldn't be terrible. Yeah. Oh, metal. So no, we, no alteration this turn, which is good. Um... You're gonna drop my wall. That's fine. Marsh Shadow can put it back. Now we can get rid of it if we want. If we find Stadium, and then we can stack one of our tools. Okay, they didn't do much. Okay, interesting. No Stadium or anything. All right, what do we draw? Quick Ball. Beautiful. So we get to Dene. I mentioned to Dene. Uh, we are gonna lose our Giovanni's Exile though. Makes this a little worse. We can do Reconstitute first, and maybe we can rip a good card here. Research. Okay, so we don't have to do Dene. That's fine. Okay. As long as we don't have to bench to Dene, I'm happy. We're going to try to see how hard we can hit the Zacian. See, if I had the, uh, if I can get a crushing gloves, that'd be good. No, we did get Wonders Labyrinth. We could put that into play here and make it hard for them to get it. They can still ult creation, though, if they get an energy switch water energy combo. Um, but it is tempting to put this Wonders Labyrinth into play just to make it hard on them. They have a four card hand. They didn't play supporter last turn. Yeah, you know what? I like this play. Let's do it. Let's see if it pays off. And then we'll just hit them for a whopping 40 damage. We're getting there, though. If we had crushing gloves, we would have done 70, which would have been a lot better. Um, so I want to put tool jammer on. But again, the, I think it's better just to do damage. I don't know. The Zacian could still attack anyway. It's not like it can't not attack. If this is Dedenne or Crobat, tool jammer would have been really good here. Speaking of Dene, yeah, there's a Crobat. Let's see if they can get rid of my Stadium, though. Let's see if they play any Stadium. Some ADP lists don't play a Stadium whatsoever. I've seen ADP lists play Swell. I've seen some lists play Viridian. I've seen some lists play no Stadium at all. Um, They found the water. Okay. Oh, the only time they got the E-Switch. Yo, my Wonders Labyrinth was for nothing, bro. Not like this. Yo, what if they do Alter Creation by accident? What if they do with the two Energy on not realizing Wonders Labyrinth is in play? That would be kind of hilarious. That would be really, really funny. One time, bro. Do it. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. My opponent will probably just find an energy switch, though. Oh, they failed the Cherish Ball. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, there's no way they don't have, like, a Dedenne in their hand or something. What? They had it? Oh, I think my opponent doesn't see the Wonders Labyrinth. They, what, they could still find a Stadium, obviously, but uh, I actually think they don't see this, the Wonders Lab. There's a Marnie. Yeah, that's fine. Not really the greatest hand ever. Well, we Actually, it was good. We could brick off. That's what I'm worried about. Let's see what we get. Nope. We're chilling. Still might have to mention it any, though, but we did get some stuff. We got Vitality Band we can put on. No, dude, you're supposed to punish them, game. No. Dang it, that's annoying. They must have just realized Wonders Labyrinth is in play. That is hella annoying. Still, though, if we can kill the ADP here, I think we're going to be chilling. Um, if we, can, ooh, if we can actually get a KO here, I think we'll be in a good spot. Let's do this. Ooh. Bomb. Yeah, we have to Dedene this turn, so we do have to sacrifice some stuff. I mean, the Wonders Lab is still in play, though. They still can't do Ultimate Ray. I mean, they have an energy in their hand, though. How much are we doing? Three, five, six. The one. So we're doing 120. We put Vitality Band on. We put the Vitality Band on. We can try to reach the higher numbers. I actually don't know if it's worth it to play it here. We still have a play as supporter for turn, so. I think we just sack the Vitality Band. It doesn't matter because it's 10 damage. It's literally the same thing. Ooh, no tools off that. Yikes. We got one. I'm going to play Hapu since we high roll supporters. Okay, two tools. I guess that's fine. Rotting Quick Ball. Don't think we have a KO here, unfortunately. I think we are just a little short. I think we're short. Yep, we're short. Ooh, we were a couple tools off. Dang it. We just had to get a high roll Hapu. We hit a lot of supporters off. That's why I was saying we could hit a good Hapu there. Yeah, they're going to kill me with Ultimate Ray. Nope. They're going to win in two attacks. Ugh, oh, we came close. Well, okay, to be fair, the lab is still in play. Maybe they just can't attack with Zacian. They played one saucer, though. I don't know. They're down some energy. This is pretty much game over, though. Once they find boss, the game's pretty much over. So, not much we could really do. 
ADP, it's a matchup, like, in fairness, it's winnable, but you have to get really lucky with your tool discards. If you can knock out their ADP quick enough, the matchup is actually winnable. But in this scenario, it wasn't winnable because uh, we just whiffed the KO. We have a lot of tools up in the deck, too. Makes this even more awkward. Not even about the rotting. Do this. Ooh, giant bomb. That's going to be pretty helpful, actually. All right, we take him out. We would have had them this turn if we... Because we go on Marsh Shadow. All right, let's see what happens. They just need an energy and a boss to win the game. They are down a lot of energy, though, so we'll see. Um, if they just have a Saucer Boss... Oh, no, they promote the Zacian. Okay, do they just have... Ma Did the game just feed them the energy boss here? Yeah, it gave them the energy boss. How, dude? Bro! Ah, dang it. How many energy have they played? Five. I'm amazed. They had. They didn't even do anything. They just had energy boss in their hand. That's super annoying. But we uh, we tried. We actually put up a pretty good fight, to be honest. Uh, we just needed to kill the ADP there, but we got unlucky, and unfortunately, we had to bench two prizers. Okay, uh, tails. So we'll see. We're playing against it this time. We might be against another ADP deck. You never know. It might just be the ADP show today because that's all people like to play because it requires a lot of skill to play. So we do start Vulpix here. Three tools. Could put the Lucky Egg on, which does come in handy. So I might put the Lucky Egg on here. We'll see what happens. Um, ooh, Inteleon. Four tools. That's pretty good. And pass. Well, no, I should have put Lucky Egg on because we're, we're probably going to get Marnied here. And I'm going to regret not putting Lucky Egg on. I already know that's going to happen. No, they're researching. Playing a Melanie engine. Yeah, there's the Sobble. They play the other Inteleon, which is a little scary. Ooh, they hit the nuts. Wonder's Labyrinth could be pretty good here, though. Path the P could be pretty bad, though, for us because of our Articuno being shut off. If we prize our Mew, we probably lose, right? Well, Volpix's ability is pretty good, right? Okay, Volpix has that ability where it protects from the bench from the... Uh... Is it abilities, though? Nope, just damage from attack. Okay. Oh, good. They may have 110 HP. They can't come with the other Intellion thing. Another tool is really good. We did lose quite a few tools here, which is good. We do lose a Nine Tails. See so you get more basics. Okay. Last second, we got a Volpix. We did find the Wonder's Labyrinth. Definitely not worth it to put in a play, though, because they probably just have. They probably can just drift off or path the peak. Um. Yeah. I don't. Even if they do play it, it's not like they're not going to do Hydro Snipe. We'll save it. We'll just Rubbish Blizzard them for 50 damage. Insane damage. Just insane. Unfortunately, the right bomb won't work here. We have the Hapu next turn, too. Try to dig a little bit. We'll see if that pays off. We'll keep the Rod in our hand. Are we going to have to play Dedenne this turn, too? If Ninetale... Ninetales will most likely live the turn. Unless, for some reason, they play a rare candy Inteleon. Or if they can build another Inteleon on the bench somehow. And move the active. Because they don't have an Air Balloon on it, so... I think we're just going to see a Hydro Snipe for 60. Giant Bomb won't really work in this matchup, then. If they're doing Hydro Snipe... Or max bullet, whatever Inteleon's attack does. 160 damage. Unfortunately, does not activate Giant Bomb. So the bombs are useless. Best tool will probably just have to be... Honestly, Vitality Band or even Tool Jammer to shut off the Telescopic Sight. Ooh, they're going to boss my Vulpix here. That's very rude of my opponent. Um, Do they even have a KO? They boss me, you just rot it back. No, they're researching. Okay. Well, now they are one boss less. I don't understand why they... Why wouldn't they just grab, like, a, another quick ball? What's the point of that? Ooh. Oh, no. Bro, if they actually... Okay, if they actually pull off an Inteleon Max Bullet here. There's Path. You have to play Lab now. Fine. Yeah, that's why I didn't put it in play just, away, just yet. Okay. Look at that. Haha, -ha, Vulpix is busted. Um, so we play Happy. We'll save anything else. Pokemon Cert. Not to be Vulpix and Evo Incense. That's fine. We did get some tools in there. That's all that matters. No. Still, the only problem is we just haven't seen a Dedenne or an Articuno yet. We put the lab down now. Uh, I don't even... I still think I want to save it, you know? I'm going to play this now. Shuffle the deck. Because even if we get Marnie, I'd still rather have the deck shuffled. We're doing... 30, 40, 50. Eh, we're doing a decent chunk of damage. Do I just play Lab Down now or do I wait? They're not three research, so maybe they don't have a supporter. Nah, we'll play the Lab. 
You can wait a turn, though. It's so tempting to put it into play here. No, we need to save it for when we get to Denny. Yeah, we have to save it. Never mind. How much are we doing? 90 damage. We have to save the Wonders Labyrinth because if we draw Articuno or Dedenne, like we put it in play here and they just bump the stadium with another path. We don't have Articuno or Dedenne. We're pretty screwed unless we can get Marshadow, but we don't have a way to get Marshadow. So we can't get both. So I think we have to put the lab. I didn't evolve into the Nine Tails for obvious reasons either because of uh, Inteleon here. Uh, because of Vulpix's ability. They could boss the Vulpix, I guess, but they're still not going to KO my Nine Tails anyways. No, they could. No, they can win if they have boss, energy, and Talion here. Huh. Maybe I should have evolved into the Nine Tails. No, we would still lose anyways. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I forgot to stick a Muse in the deck, too. We need to find a Denny Articuno, though, ASAP. We need to get a new hand. Like, we're struggling out here. We have Leon for next turn, but it's not going to do enough. We really need a good top deck here. Well, literally, if we don't draw another basic next turn, we just flat out lose. Unless, for some reason, my opponent doesn't have a KO. Yeah, they got it. Let's see if they have game in hand. They need a boss and an Inteleon. Three-card hand, no chance. Oh, boy. Okay, now I was going to say they could get... Oh, they can't do Denny. There's Path in play. What am I saying? Okay, they had a research, yeah. They had the nuts. That's their last research, though, so... They don't have research left. Yeah, hopefully we can draw something here to get some stuff going. That's all I can pretty much pray for. If we don't draw something here, we are unfortunately just going to have to take a fat L to uh, dead draws. We're hitting pretty hard. Kind of, well, I'm saying 90 damage, but, you know, it's hard enough. Wait, what? They don't attack? Oh, what the? Oh, my God. I made you to Dene. Why, why would they not attack me there, though? I am so very confused right now. That's using to me well, we're gonna two shot we could play leon here there's no way we're gonna kill them though now it's the Dene. they didn't why would they i don't know why they didn't attack me there that's weird i'll take it though we got the we got the gang bro we got the gang together all right everyone's here i actually probably should have grabbed a uh we shot we should have maybe grabbed an articuno there but i think it's fine Oh, I wish I did. Nah, it's all good. We can just go Vitality Band. Rich Blizzard. Oh, we were close. Articuno wouldn't have got us the KO, though. Actually, if we played Leon, but we had to play the Research to get the hand. Okay, never mind. That wouldn't have worked out. If we had a Surge-Leon combo, we maybe could have went off. Surge actually might not be a bad addition to this deck, though. Tied on Spaced, because if you're going to add any cards, you might as well just add more tools. Um, So I don't know if you have room for that. We got to pray they also don't play Heal in the deck. Like, they don't have a Malana here. How many boss we have left? We have one left. Yeah, there's a counter stadium right away. That's fine. We got the DNA off, and that's all that matters. Um, the level ball. Okay, they're probably going to go with the other Inteleon. They have 50 HP. If we actually hit them a little bit harder, we could have killed them with Psy Powered at the end of the game. I mean, they haven't taken a single prize yet, though, which is making me kind of optimistic. We can always marsh out of the stadium away if we have to. There's a bucket... They are down a boss. We'll see if they kill my Mew here. If they don't kill Nine Tails, I mean, I'd actually... I don't know if I would prefer that. No, I think I'd rather Mew not get knocked out. Well, maybe. I think we still have a Rod left. Did they do? I might put, I'm going to put the Lucky Egg on the Nine Tails because we already have a... Well, I think we're going to... We're two-shotting this probably. Okay, we'll put the Lucky Egg on the other Nine Tails because I think we might need Lucky Egg here. Well, I don't know. We'll see. I might be tri... No! What? They actually had boss? Bro, no way. And they actually do target Mew. So we actually do keep Nine Tails for another turn. Hmm, I'm not sure about this play, to be honest. Well, no, it's probably still a fine play for my opponent. They have a one-card hand. They're out of research, so that's good. Okay, we can always rod Mew back. I'm pretty sure we have another rod in the deck. But we don't have unlimited nine tails. only problem. All right, we can KO them with the one with the Vitality Band on. Another one? What do we have left? We'll pick. Yeah, we do have a rod. Okay. Four tools left in the deck. So research. Dump the hand. There's the rod. So we can put rod back in the deck now. Uh, We can put the rod back in the deck and grab ourselves the Mew. Put Marsh out of the stadium away. No, we don't need a Marsh out anymore. 
We have to put Mew back. Might as well put the Dene back. You never know when it might be needed. Sure. Just here, Kuno is pretty useless now. I might not even have any boss left. The only problem is <laughs> we've used our rods, and I don't think we've used them on Nine Tails. No, I think we have. But you know what I mean. Like now, the Nine Tails another rod, and I'm gonna be more awkward. We are down two shotting though. We just need to knock out one more Italian to win the game. So we could still win this. We could still win. We'll see. Because when they knock me out, Lucky Egg activates. Maybe I shouldn't have put the Lucky Egg on, to be honest. No, we're not going to... Well, we can't even... It's not even going to work this turn, but they could Marnie or Stamp me. You never know. Um, so they might as well keep Lucky Egg on. They could kill my Dene. I don't know if they have a third boss, though. That's the only problem. How many energy have they played? They've played eight energy. They might not have a water here. Again, they are... Uh, as I say that, they just have water in their hand. What? They actually had a third boss? Bro, and it's in their hand? But they actually kill my Dedene and not my Mew. They don't even KO my Dedene. What just happened? What just happened? Like, literally, what just happened? Okay. Um. This was a very weird game. Ninetales about to beat Inteleon? Bro, no way. I, bro, I don't understand what just happened. Okay, there's a level ball. Again, they're out of research, so they have to either grab Melanie or Marnie. I'm actually amazed they had the boss back to back. That's kind of scary. Okay, looks like they don't have... It. I guess they just accepted their loss. I, why would they not... Even if they killed my Dedene, we were still winning, I'm pretty sure, because we just go hit. They knock out my next Ninetales. We have boss in hand. They can't hide. We hit. We win. So we were, we were winning this game anyways, it looks like. Um, looks like it didn't really matter. But uh, we'll take it. Let's go, bro. Nine Tails takes a dub versus Inteleon. This match probably can be beatable. Uh, you just got to get lucky. I am just amazed of how... Uh, my opponent, I think, might have thrown the game there. But I'll take it, bro. Win is a win at the end of the day, bro. Win is literally a win. You know? Okay. Nice. Throw up against Lightning and Psychic. Hmm. I don't know what this could be. Could be Pikara, maybe. Alright, Vulpix and a Marshad start not bad. Uh, I'm gonna open with Marshad, so I can put the Cycle Energy on it. Our opening hand's not that bad either. Yeah, our opening hand's pretty decent. Got a Hapu, a couple tools. Got an Evil Incense. We got Guaranteed Nine Tails next turn. Pretty good. Might need to save the Giant Bomb though, because it depends what we're playing against. Alan Flame. Oh boy, our Marshad might be a goner. Double Giant Bomber, do we save? I think we save it. They're playing Rushy's Art, it might be good, or Senna Scorch. I'm gonna save it. We like yeah, if they're playing Rushy's Art or Senna Scorch, Giant Bomb is pretty good in this matchup. You never know. Let's we'll see if they have a welder here. Senna Scorch. Yeah, so we maybe could save Giant Bomb. Because Senna Scorch has to do the damage, because it'll just keep racking energy up. This big VMAX text though could be intimidating. We'll see if my Marsh Shadow gets KO'd or not. Hopefully it doesn't. That'd be annoying. Okay, looks like it doesn't go KO'd. Volk though is a bit of a threat, because it can one-shot my nine tails, unfortunately. Maybe we should have played a big charm in the deck so we can't get bodied by Vi Volcanian and Cresselia. And an Octobite Volk is not good for us, to be honest. Not good. I think we still want to sack Marshadow. For it. It's annoying. Go Hapu. I'm going to save everything else. Well, a bunch of tools. I'm going to take a Lucky Egg. I'm going to take a Lucky Egg here. So we draw cards. I think we just got to sack Marshadow. I'm going to... I'm gonna have to play another tool, I guess. I'm not gonna grab nine tails. No, I am gonna grab nine tails. Because at the very least, they 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 have a three card hand. If they have a boss, they have a boss, right? They probably do because the opponent always will have it, but might as well grab it. Just to thin out the hand. We'll have to we all have to play the giant bomb. Because we wanna make sure we get a good lucky egg here, so we might as well just hit them. Again, they probably have boss in hand, most likely. They always have it, even though they have four cards. Probably still there. We'll see. Oh, heat energy. That makes things even more awkward. This thing now has a lot more HP. Pokey gear. Yeah, that'll get on boss, probably. They got a welder. They might not have anything. Oh, they fail it. They have a Dedenne. Okay, they're definitely fine this boss here. There's no way. There's all... They're always Dedenne in the boss, right? They're always getting the boss out of the Dedenne. Yeah, the heat energy definitely makes things awkward. 340 HP. That's super hard to two-shot. I don't know. And, well, with Giant Bomb, it might help. Okay, well, they actually didn't have it. Haha, <laughs> look at that. Reverse Psychology. Get draw some extra cards. Research. Beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. All right, cool. 
There's a chance we can kill Volk too if we get lucky. We don't want any of these tools, right? Yeah, just research. Cool. It's by Lucky Eggs Clutch. Okay, nice. We got some stuff. How much? Hold on. How much are we doing? Five, seven, nine, ten. Oh, we already have a KO, right? Yeah. Five, seven, nine, ten. Yeah, yeah. It's a knockout. So we can put the lucky egg on. Bench Mew in case I play Cram. Save the quick ball for getting discard another tool, I guess. All right. Pretty good. That was a good turn. That was a good turn. Lucky egg kind of saved us. Rod. Eat. All right, now this is a, not a bad match at all. We're drawing really, really well. Sign of Scorch still might be able to a hurdle to get over, but I don't know. If we save our Giant Bomb, we have one left. Never mind. We have one Giant Bomb left. But who knows? We might be able to two-shot them this turn. We'll see. The Heat Energy does make things scary. Yo, if we can do 20 damage with Knot, yo, sign me up. Apple's really good. We can play that, actually, too. Play the Rod. Actually... I saved it. I'm probably gonna happen here. I don't know. Honestly, I might just research. Yeah, I might just I might just research to be honest. I might research. I kinda like doing happy. Do we have Wonders Labyrinth still? We do. If we research, we can high roll. Apu. We're not well get rid of this. That's our last full pick prized. Uh we could grab Articuno here. Benching a two prizer though doesn't seem very good. Because let me just lose in two turns. Actually, that's a bad idea. We gotta fail that. I'll research. That's fine. I don't know. Maybe happy was better. Eh. It's not bad actually. We have to grab the Denny preemptively because we're probably gonna have to play it. Fine, though. This hand's not bad. I think we do have a two-shot on them. Maybe. They probably have a giant hearth. We'll play it. Just to thin out the hand and just hit them. How much are we doing? 160. So we do two-shot them, thanks to Leon. Alright, nice. So we have a knockout next turn. Uh, it's gonna be a close one, though, guys. I don't know. It, it's still a little hard to win. Maybe. Actually, how many boss do we have left? Still baller boss. So we can knock out Sense Scorch, knock out today. Okay, that could win us the game. Weakness card energy. I've seen everything now in a Sun of Scorch deck. I am scared of the others. This is why I did want to put the lab in play, because they could go with the other Sun of Scorch VMAX, and then that would make it awkward. Then we have to deny it for boss, and then we don't have Leon. So it, I think it was best just to put lab in play now, right? Make them have to attack with another Sun of Scorch, which hopefully doesn't happen. If they just knock out their active, we KO with another Nine Tails. And then we just need to win with boss on today. So we kind of have our path in motion of how we can win this game. Hopefully it pays off. This is going to be a very close one, though. But we do have our path planned out. We go knock out Sun Scorch, knock out Dedenny with our last boss. We have two boss in the deck. Warp one's prize. We get off the prizes. So we'll see what happens here. This is going to be a very close game, though. Giratina. Sure. Doesn't matter at all. I'm just praying that this thing knocks me out. And also, they don't play Malolana. That'd be very bad. If they play Malolana, we're screwed. Please, just let me knock this thing out. Just let me knock it out raw. So I can move on my life. They could get another heat energy on it. No, they already attached. That won't happen. Oh, that's what I was worried about. They get another thing. No, dude, don't do it. Let's go. And this is why the lab saved us. Because they could have just retreated into the Sun Scorch. Attacked me with the other one. I still might find boss off the Dene. But it's unlikely I can KO it. So that was a very good turn for us. That is kind of why I played my turn out the way I did. So there you go. Big Marine plays with LDF. So Leon. Bench to Dene. We just got to dig for this boss. Lucky egg. I'm gonna fail that. We could put it on just in case we get Marnied. We're getting three prizes though. Now we'll play just in case we do get it. Alright, then we'll just rubbish blizzard. Yeah, they, we could get stamped or something. Might as well play it just in case we get stamped so we can guarantee the boss. We have a thing prize. There's Vulpix, that's good. There's the other boss. Nice. Rod 2. Beautiful. So we will win next turn if my opponent doesn't uh, stop me from playing boss. That's pretty much all they can do. One turn too late. Maybe they have... Yeah, that was definitely a top deck. That was one turn too late for them. That's perfect for us. 
Now, the other way we can win is if we didn't have the Danny play, we just two-shot Sun Scorch, but they can always power up Talonflame. That should be game, right? I'm pretty sure we have enough tools in the discard pile to win this here. I'm gonna have to do a quick count. <laughs> 6, 9, 12, 14, 16. Yeah, that's enough. All right, beautiful. And there we go. That's game. We beat in Sun Scorch V Max. A deck I have not played against in a very long time. We just beat it with a Alolan Ninetales deck. Yo, we can even play the Giant Hearts. Say less, fam. That's a knockout, right? 200 damage. Almost knockout Talonflame. But there we go. That'll be it for the video, guys, on the Alolan Ninetales deck. We got two wins with it, which is awesome. I'm, I'm glad we got the win. Somehow, we, funny enough, we lost to the deck we can hit for weakness. But I mean, it's ADP, right? We had a bunch of two prizers. But still, though, it was cool. Anyway, that'll wrap the video, guys, on the Alolan Ninetales deck here. A lot of fun to play the deck. Not Again, I'm not sure it's the most competitive deck however it is a ton of fun to play this deck and again if you guys want to make more changes you can honestly i might just cut the exile we did not play it whatsoever so i think we can cut the exile for maybe like another tool card to be honest um another leon would be bad leon was kind of cool and it was mvp for sure leon was great in here really just have more tools if you can anyway so i'll be for the guys on the little nine tails deck hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like subscribe if you're new to the channel help me the road reaching 18 000 subs we just hit 17.6k subs so but we're now 400 subscribers away from 18,000. So if you guys haven't subbed yet, make sure to leave. Make sure to sub and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Check out Carcraven. Use Crawl DF to get any code. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Patreon. Bye bye.